Hi, I'm Jakub Kazmierczak, a concept artist specializing in environments and keyframes. In this video, I'm going to dive into iClone and show you how I leverage its powerful features to bring my clients' ideas to life. As an example, I'll be creating a fully animated chase scene, complete with dynamic characters, camera movements and lighting. By the end of this tutorial, you'll see how I use iClone to streamline my workflow from initial concept to a polished presentation, ready for the director to review. So, let's jump into it! Before we jump into the animation and posing, I have to mention that the Blender add-on got an overhaul from the last time I was talking to you. Now the character creator has this extra button that links it with Blender. There is no need to export files and re-import assets. Everything works as one system that streamlines the workflow. With that explained, time to focus on the main topic of this video, iClone. It's a software that complements character creator. It is used for animation and posing. But I'm not an animator. I do concepts and game frames, so why do I use it? Recently in my professional work, I do more and more sequence keyframes, which are a bunch of shots and locations that I design. I used to have six or seven cameras and copy characters all over the scene to make it match every shot. It's not the most elegant and clean way to do it. Nowadays, I can just set up simple animation in iClone, export it to Blender where I can animate my camera to get all the shots I want. So when I'm working on deliveries for the day, I can easily send multiple shots and with ease, I'm able to iterate on the work on the set without even thinking about characters. The problem is, I'm not an animator. I can't animate to save my life. Thankfully, Realusion made the whole process so easy that anyone can pick it up and integrate it into their workflow. Let's start with AcuPose. It's a posing assistant that uses some AI magic to help with posing characters. To put it simply, it's a library of the poses that get automatically used on your character based on the movement you do. Previously, I had to pose in Blender, move bone by bone or import animation and adjust it. With AcuPose, I just have to pick the present I want and I get the desired effect much faster. For instance, I can pick up combat scenarios and effortlessly create a set of poses for my keyframe. Like this. But it's not only a posing tool. Icon first and foremost is an animation tool. To make the magic happen, all I have to do is to get my character into the scene and from the content library, I just drag the mockup onto my character. But let's say for the sake of the keyframes and story, I need to include some different animations. All I have to do now is to drag the next animation onto the timeline. To make the transition smooth, I can blend those two together. And if I want to change the direction, I can break the animation and rotate it into the direction I want. I repeat the process for all the main characters I want to focus on in my work. As it's a primary done for the keyframes, I don't worry too much about the precision. I'm not trying to make a movie, I just have to present an idea. Now let's say I need some more characters. I need a crowd. So now how the hell do I animate multiple characters? Do I have to repeat the process for every single one of them? No. Icon has a crowd simulation option that allows me to create scenes full of life. I pick the ground plane and generate enough mesh out of it. Then I choose characters that I want to include in my scene as a background and pick the animation sets I want to use. It will be assigned to my characters automatically, which will generate more poses and will allow me to avoid repetition in my scene. Have the same three poses used between them. Icon like Character Creator uses the same plugin to link it with Blender. Thanks to that, I can export all the animation and see on the camera how it fits with the rest of the scene. This workflow is seamless, which significantly speeds up my work and allows me to do creative changes more easily. So in a few minutes, I have my character part of the work done. Now I can set up a simple camera movement, record the whole scene in a solid view, so I can send it to my client for them to pick the angles they want. Next step is to refine the scene, render out the keyframes, short video and deliver it to my client. To sum things up. So now you can see how you can integrate animation in your workflow. I feel like allowing yourself to experiment and play with different creative tools is beneficial long term and greatly expands your skill set, which may lead to very interesting opportunities. Besides, I find it extremely useful as a freelancer. I don't have an option to sit next to the director and look for the shots with him telling me what to do. 
creating simple animation allows me to explain and communicate my ideas quicker, which is extremely useful when you work with client space in the different time zones. Hope you enjoyed the video and take care.